My name's Claire, I'm 42, I live in Melbourne, and this is my wife, George. And yeah, I did the self-collect test, and that's how I found out that I had cervical cancer. Back sort of 20 years ago, doctors were kind of like, if you identified as LGBTIQ+, that you didn't need to get those tests because um, it wasn't so much of a risk for you to have cervical cancer. It had probably been 10 to maybe 13 years since I'd had a test previously. I think, you know, at that point in time, I just kind of did it to stop my doctor from badgering me. <laughs> from that point, things happened very quickly. Um, the next thing was that I got a letter from the Mercy, the hospital, women's hospital in Melbourne, asking me to come and do further screening. And from then, um, pretty much on first look, the oncologist was like, he knew it was cancer straight away. You know, at that point in time, he was like, the best outcome is that you will have a radical hysterectomy. Hearing that at the time, that's pretty intense um, information. I had a radical hysterectomy, therefore didn't have to have any chemo, which was amazing. Um, it was a really good, clean surgery. Straight after surgery, maybe two days later, I found out that I was completely cancer free. That was the best outcome that could have happened. So the self-collect test you can just do in the privacy of the cubicle at a doctor's office is how I did it, um, rather than doing it with the doctor. And I think that it was um, less invasive, n not painful, less kind of being exposed. Um, yeah, so I think it was just, a, it was easier to do. Go to a doctor that will offer you that as a test because for me it was the difference well, to be dramatic is the difference between life and death. Like, it's better to go and get that test than no test. Um, and I think that I am kind of proof that why that test is really important. To know that it can be done really easily and really quickly and really painlessly, you know, you're just going to go and do it, which is, what, which, is, which is what I did and how they found my cancer. I was amazed when she came home and told me about the self-collection, that that was even an option. And when she got, ended up finding out that she had cancer, I realised that I'd never had a pap smear. And I, that was the first thing that I went and did. I was like, okay, self-collection, let's go. So yeah, very relieved that that is uh, accessible for us. Definitely get it done. It's comfortable. You get to do it yourself in private. Uh, there's no, it's not painful. It's really easy to do. Um, yeah, would recommend. Definitely within our community, our friends, we've spoken about a lot, a lot of our friends who identify as LGBTIQ+, um, including trans men, is a really big area of underrepresented people being um, tested for cervical cancer. And I would say that this test exists and you can go and ask your doctor to self-collect and you should make sure that you're looking after that part of your health and find a doctor that will do that. You know, in a moment our life changed, mm -hmm. um, but it's all good now. <laughs> it's all good now. Because of the self-collect. <laughs>